What's the deal? What's the deal, YouTube? How's it growing, eh? It's, it's OG Scotty B. Thanks. Here. I'm smoking some OG Kush right now. It's pretty good. Look, I got the day off. Look at that. See? It's fucking snowing again. I mean, I could, I never, I just, I never went and got my fucking tires changed, and I got them sitting in a fucking, in a room right now, but I should have changed them, and then I could drive, I mean, I got a four-wheel drive, but fuck it, I could use the day off, I got some things I gotta straighten out with, whatever, <laughs> don't wanna get into it. So today's little topic is gonna be about cocaine and cocaine psychosis, and, uh, yeah, it's really very kind of a serious thing. Um, it, what happens when you smoke a lot of coke or you shoot a lot of coke or even when you snort a lot of coke, you get very, your heart rate accelerates. You get a enormous amount of dopamine rushing through your veins and your your receptors and all that kind of scientific shit and you become very paranoid you uh you literally think you know fbi or you're being gang stalked or and it's it's almost like you're in another dimension when you're that high in that form of psychosis because those noises and those sounds and those whispers are extremely real and it's extremely in your mind everything is extremely real like how you might think people are looking at you and that and they are in, in that dimension it's it's almost like you're in another dimension it's really it's really crazy it's it's such a you know it's it's so insane how they thought it was almost harmless in the 70s type of thing, right? Like, it's just, it's crazy. So, yeah, cocaine psychosis is just extremely dangerous. Um, like, you'd be literally standing at the door, peeping through the window, holding a gun, like, or a knife, or whatever, you know. What fun is that? You know what I mean? And, and like, you're trying, every time you go to do more coke, you're trying to do, be so quiet when you like with the lighter or whatever. It's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. And that's like after a day or two being up on, I remember a couple times I was just on these big coke runs. Like I, I remember once, man, I was fuck. this is so fucked up. Cause I, I, I used to shoot up and like, gas station bathrooms and I used to go I used to go on these little boosting trips right so I'd grab some dope from downtown or my guy or whatever and I'd hop on I'd go get a hop on the bus and I'd go way out to the sticks because uh they don't really suspect you know I'd go hit a store and I'd dress up a bit or whatever and look a little more respectable and I'd go <clears throat> hit a bunch of liquor stores or or I used to do these, uh, I got all the, all kinds of little fences that would buy all kinds of like different makeup or whatever. So you go hit a shopper's drug mart and walk over $300, you know, after you see your fence. So it's just, yeah. And, and back then it was, there wasn't so many cameras in that. So it was really easy money. And, uh, I used to go out doing that. And, uh, sometimes I would, you know, I'd bring some dope. And I remember this one time I shot some dope in this gas station and uh so i was tweaking out and what that is is you're looking around for more dope although you have a pocket full of it you still think you like you start looking it's just it's a fucking weird fucking trip and you just tweak out and look around for more and what happened was i'm searching around this fucking bathroom it's a fucking public washroom in a gas station and i found a fucking eight ball of powder and I'm like, holy fuck, I was stuck up in the sink. A fucking eight ball of powder, good fucking coke. So now I'm fucking super high on my own fix that I just did. And I'm thinking that, uh-oh, okay, 
now because the psychosis is really kicking in now i'm thinking i'm fucking robbing i'm thinking the gas station's crooked and they're selling coke on the side and i hit one of their stashes or something so i start hopping on the bus and i'm fucking running around looking over my shoulder and looking over my back oh it's just it's crazy man like just yeah cocaine psychosis just drives you nuts and you think you're being gang stalked and what was happening too was back then they had like these loss prevention officers right and they would have they actually had like meetings with in each other it's like they had a committee and they would go around and meet each other and say okay well these guys this like i had my picture used to be on like liquor store you, you know on the wall and that because I, I was you know they did see me in the camera or whatever i actually got busted once i got totally away but just because i was on camera and they'd recognized me i actually got charged and convicted once for doing that but that was like one of my it was just easy money to get when like when 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 you needed it whatever just but uh i don't do any of that anymore but just so one time or a few times actually it's i would and this is what i mean by the psychosis and how it's so real is i would go onto us onto the sea bus from downtown right there's a sea bus where i live and it takes you across into like the richer area where I live now in North Van and then come up here. As soon as I hit the C bus, like I would take, take it up to a different district or whatever. And I'd go into a mall and boom, it'd be like the manager of that mall would be like right there. And he'd, and he'd like come to me and say, no, you can't come in here. And I'd be like, fuck. And then I go to some other store and it's like, they were making phone calls or something. And, this happened once or twice, and it just freaked the fucking shit out of me. I thought I was, I thought I was like fucking FBI public enemy number one or something, man. And it was, and I, and that's the thing. I don't know whether it was the psychosis or if I was just completely fucking being an idiot, or if I was actually being targeted by law enforcement because, you know, I, I mean, I, I did do a lot of property crime at one point and so yeah it's just this just kind of a little story about how fucked up and i don't miss those days i really don't um, maybe next i'll tell you about uh my other thing which was speedballs which was, was was coke and heroin together which is just stupid fucking just I, I don't even understand how, like, how bad it is for your body, but I'm still alive and it's weird. I'm still good looking. So <laughs> anyways, take care. I'll talk to you later, guys.